it started seven years ago. Yeah. How much did it start with, and how much is it worth now? So I would say we started with about a thousand CDs. You and your wife. Yes, back then. Yeah. So how much is it worth now? From a thousand CDs to how much? Ah, uh, so currently, Trisolis as it stands is worth about one point two million USD. Uh, our asset alone is around uh two hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Uh, we have vehicles, we have lands, we have greenhouses, we have uh, goodwill, we have other things as well. So as it stands now, uh, uh, if we want to quantify, that's around 1.2 million USD. That's the way I'm staring at you. <laughs> really? I mean, a young man yeah. who uh, after national service was roaming the streets looking for jobs and realized that no, a lot of my colleagues together with myself, we are chasing jobs that may not exist for us he decided that okay i am going to go into agribusiness and guess what he went in there with his darling and from a thousand cities uh, uh from a thousand cities where he started researching about the sector so i can say that research was what helped you a lot yeah and now you yeah. are here from 2015 to 2023 yeah from a thousand cities to 1.2 2 million dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Even revenue alone is around 250,000 dollars. That's how much money you are getting. Nail farming has been described by experts in the industry as one of the highly lucrative agribusiness areas the youth can take advantage of. And make some money today we are going to engage a young man who has been doing this in the last seven years he is an expert in it he will talk about how you can start how much you can start with and how you, you can also earn something from it i am going to engage the ceo of stricelist farm here in dansuman accra welcome to society 360 Felix. thank you thank you thank it's been you. a long time yeah it's been a while it's wow a while. how are you i'm doing great yeah, I can yeah. see, I can see the things I've seen around the tech and everything that you have <laughs> infused in your snow yeah. farm. I am impressed. Thank you. How did the journey start? Uh, I think we started uh, around 2015. After university, I went to do my national service at Obuasi. Uh, and then, unfortunately, the mine closed down. So I didn't have any jobs. So we started looking for jobs ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we saw that there was a lot of prospects in agric okay. but all the people that we wanted to help especially the youth they didn't have a place of their own like me i was still with my parents so i, I was renting or with parents so you couldn't do anything like poultry anything that smelled or make noise mm -hmm. you know so we said what can we do that will help the youth so that we buy back from them again mm -hmm. and then but it will not make noise or smell and oh, snail okay. fits that excellent so that was when we started the research and in 2018 we started on a larger scale doing the greenhouses okay when you say we you and who are you talking about oh okay i started with evelyn so at that time evelyn was my co-founder mm. i met her in obwasi she was an entrepreneur as well she owned some restaurants so we used to take some of the leftovers from the snails to feed mm. uh, our to, uh, from her restaurant to feed our snails etc and then uh one thing led to the other and then we got married so oh, we've wow. been in this for seven years now oh, okay so this is a couple business yes wow yes, that's yes. that's a, a great mm -hmm. one so it means evelyn is not originally from Accra. no no you met her during your national yes, service yes during the national service in obwasi okay i went to do it at anglo gold ashanti mm -hmm. and then it closed down it was about to close down so we were transferred to a school where i was doing it and that also gave me interest in IT as well. Mm. So. Okay, so during your research process, how did you finally settle that, okay, snail is the best I can do to earn some income? Oh, okay. So, like I said, we knew that Agric was the way to go because no matter what, people will still eat. Even robots will still need oils to grease their, their uh, joints, etc. So we said, why don't we look at something? So everywhere that we went, I was uh, one of the good students. So everywhere that I went for employment after the national service, I saw that I met the same friends and people in school. So I said, oh, that means that all of us are looking for jobs. <laughs> and the job was mostly one in a month, sometimes one every three months. And you go in the same civil engineers from 
other schools in your school, same place. So I said, okay, that means that all the youth need something to do. And they were happy to do something with their hands. Mm -hmm. So we say, okay, but they didn't have land. They didn't have uh, capital to start. They didn't have all that. So we said, we couldn't do something like a farm, a big, big farm. So why don't we start on a smaller note so that people can start? That's why we started the snails. Snails do not smell, do not make noise. Snails are the most profitable farm animal per square meter. Mm -hmm. So even if you are using your old chore box, which we were using in school, you can still use that and raise snails and make a uh, laudable income from that. Okay. Yeah. Let's get, uh, let's come to the initial capital, talking about capital and then having a smaller space, using it to start and then you gradually grow it. If somebody wants to start snail business right now, how much do you think that person needs to begin the journey, then gradually grow it? Okay. So as for instance, we started with one box, which was filled with 20. Mm -hmm. So that is what we have continued till now. So the 20 box, for instance, one snail is seven CDs. Mm -hmm. So 20 is 140 CDs. Yes. So you can also use your old chop box, the one you went to SS with secondary or school, secondary yeah. school with. And then just fill it with uh, treated soil and put your snails in there. You can feed them with leftover food from the house, vegetables, uh, leftover fruits, and then put it in there. So. In excess, I can say you can start with 200 CDs. With 200 yes. Ghana CDs. Yes. Okay. When I came in, I saw some boxes, yes. the ready-made boxes. Is this something that you are selling to the public or it's for in-house use? Okay. So when we started the greenhouse, mm. people were like, oh, you've left us. You are now going for bigger oh, money, okay. especially those that we started with. So they gave us the research that we needed. So like you, for instance, will give you a box fill it with snails and soil and everything they will need and you start writing for us. So that is how we got our research. So they would say, oh, they eat bread, they eat this, they eat that. But when I gave them this, one died. Or when I gave one this, it died and this died, you know. So they gave us all the research that we needed. Mm. So when we started going into big, big structures and they say, no, they don't have space, they don't have the money, mm. people are still unemployed up to date. Yeah. I know a lot of the people that we completed school with that are still unemployed up to this. Mm. So they said, we have left them. So we said, okay, this year we wanted to still go to the grassroots, mm. sort of. So we're giving out the boxes again, but uh, it was quite expensive to do. So now we put a small tag on it, 700 CDs for one cubicle. It mm. stands up to about my height, up mm. to my stomach level, yeah. and then it has soil in it. It has uh, 20 snails. It has mist sprayers that you use to spray. Mm. PPEs, gloves, everything, nose mask, everything you need to take care of the snails. And they will give you feed as well oh, okay. so that they take care so of it. It's a full package. Full package. And we have a double one, mm. which is 1,400, okay. which takes 40, and a, a triple one, which takes uh, 60 snails. Mm. And that is around 2,000 cities. Okay, yeah. someone will say, 700 cities for the smallest. Yeah. If I invest 700 cities in maybe 20 snails with every uh, other package that came, comes with it, how much would I make and within which period? Okay. So a snail is a yearly affair. Mm. So they will lay and it will take a year for the snails to be ready. So we have three tiers or three times that you can sell. Mm. So we have 12 months, 16 months, and we have 24 months. Okay. So if you are selling it at uh, 12 months, which is usually ideal because if you don't sell, then you have to expand. Mm -hmm. So most people sell at that time and we sell one at three CDs, the young ones mm -hmm. at three CDs where we buy, keep them for another two months and resell to clients at a good price so that everyone will to keep the cycle going. So one snail mm -hmm. can lay up to eight zero eggs. 80 eggs. 80 eggs. Wow. Even people say more, but I say I'm an engineer, so we design for worst cases. Mm -hmm. So even the 80, we are saying that let half of them die. Oh, okay. You know, I, at least for business sake, mm -hmm. you know, in business, you design for worst case. So we say half of them die. And if you had 100, that's uh, 400, uh, 4,000 snails. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, half of that is dying, that means uh, 100 times 40 mm. that's 4000 snails or okay. yeah. yeah i think so yeah. yeah so the maths is right so 
Yes, and we buy one at uh, three CDs. So if that is four thousand, that's what uh, twelve thousand CDs for that load alone. So let's yeah. say within a year. Yeah, within a year. Wow, yeah. that's no, so. I want to understand. After investing seven hundred Ghana CDs, yeah. you could make up to twelve thousand Ghana CDs. Okay, let's do let's do the math still. Yes. So <laughs> one, we are looking at forty snails per one, mm -hmm. and you have. Okay, let's say the box. The box is 20. 20 yes. So let's take 20. So that's 800 snails. Okay. 800 snails. And we are buying one at three CDs. So that's 2,400. 2, okay. Yes. So, but if you had 100, that's what you would be okay, earning. So but we say the minimum is um, 2,400. 400 CDs. If you're doing more, you're you likely to more. get more money. That's, sure. that's a good sure. investment. Sure. 700 CDs to yeah. 2,400 CDs. Yeah. And so if I understand your explanation clearly it means that it's a partnership that you act as an optica for the people who buy the snails i mean the kits from you to start the snail is that am i correct yes so we saw that the number one downside why people don't like farming is that after going through all the hassle and your, your produce are ready how to sell it is even a problem mm. so most people take it to the market and people say i'll give you one cd and then they'll end up losing everything. So we have a market. Okay. So already we have a large market to export snails. We also have FDA approval to package snails in pouches that we sell, mm -hmm. ready to put in soup and sauces. So you just cut it and pour it into your soup, already okay. prepared. Mm -hmm. So that is how we sell our snails. And we also sell the snails as breeding stock where we give to other people mm -hmm. to start their own farm mm -hmm. with it. So yes, we have a very large market. We don't even. We are not even able to supply eighteen percent of our market. One eight. One eight. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> and last year, twenty twenty two, we sold only snails alone. We sold three point one million CDs. You sold Ghana yes. snail. Three point one million, million Ghana CDs. Which is audited financials paid by the GRI. What? Yeah. So a year. And that's eighteen percent. Of Just the total market demand. Eighteen percent of our total market demand. As I speak to you now, we have stopped export. We have stopped the pouches because there's no snails. So we're still encouraging ask, more people to who do. Who are your snail. buyers? I want to know <laughs> because yeah. if you have stopped export, you have yeah. stopped the I mean packaging or processing yeah. of it. Yeah. So who are the buyers? So now we're doing hotels, restaurants, and then we are giving to farmers as a starter pack or mm. starter breed. Okay. so that they can start raising the snails with them in wow. that way yeah okay so let me come back to your stats now i don't know if you'll be interested in answering this question but i i think my viewers need to know because this is what motivates others to go into such businesses when you're doing a business and you are not making profit yeah. then i'm not sure you should be interested in continuing doing that business he started seven years ago yeah. How much did he start with and how much is his worth now? That's the question I am going to get an answer from. So yeah. kindly stick to this channel and subscribe to it. If you want to be seeing more of these videos to motivate you to start something on your own, then kindly follow what Felix is explaining to us right now about the snail sector. Because he said as he stands now, he's able to only supply 18% of the total market demand. Why not also go into it so that you increase the demand and feed your family as well as yourself so back to my question how much did you start with so we started with at that time we went to csr as well okay. the government was doing a training on uh, snails mm -hmm. so we went we paid money and then went to learn we even stayed there for a while just to observe a lot is it the office in accra or kumasi? no kumasi for okay so that is where we went for snails in particular mm. so and and then we also had our research so okay. We were giving boxes, so we gave out 10 boxes. At that time, snails was almost close to nothing. Mm. You know, you go to the market and they'll give a lot of it. So oh, wow. we started putting them in boxes and giving to people. So I would say we started with about a thousand CDs. You and your wife? Yes, back then. Where we give the boxes away to other people so that they will raise it and give us research material. Mm. So some ate their boxes, their <laughs> snails. Some also give us good ah. feedback. but. Not after. Mm -hmm. After they had given us the feedback, then some ate it. You know, it was good research that 
you would have paid a lot of money for so it was okay okay and then we started on a larger scale mm -hmm. so that gave us the confidence that oh if people are able to do on a smaller scale that means we can replicate it on a larger scale yeah. as well yeah. so how much is it worth now from a thousand cities to how much uh so currently trisolis as it stands is worth about 1.2 million usd uh our asset alone is around uh two hundred and sixty thousand dollars uh, we have vehicles, we have lands, we have greenhouses, we have uh, goodwill, we have other things as well. So as it stands now, uh, uh, if we want to quantify, that's around 1.2 million USD. I'm the way I'm staring at you. <laughs> really? I mean, a young man yeah. who, uh, after national service, was roaming the streets looking for jobs and realized that no, a lot of my colleagues, together with myself, we are chasing jobs that may not exist for us. He decided that, okay, I am going to go into agribusiness. And guess what? He went in there with his darling. And from a thousand cities, uh, uh, from a thousand cities where he started researching about the sector. So I can say that research was what helped you a lot. Yeah. And now you yeah. are here from 2015 to 2023. Yeah. From a thousand cities to 1.2 million. million dollars yeah. oh yeah. my god even revenue alone is around two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. that's how much money you are getting in mm. so uh if you add your assets and other things then it adds up to okay. that okay yeah. i know a lot of organizations we understand the monthly stuff a lot yeah so in a month how much do you make from your snail business uh so in a month our expenditure is around maybe four hundred thousand cities cities and then our revenue is around 600,000 600, CDs. CDs. Yes. So I can say uh, the profit is around 200,000? Not necessarily. So the profit is calculated at the end of the year. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. So it is only after a year that you can that actually you see to... what profit you okay, make. Okay, so I would, I would be expecting your, your profit. But I would do about 30% profit on that. On that? Yes. So, wow okay so how many people do you currently work with how many people have you employed here in Dansoman, our facility we employ 22 people okay so some are artisans that fabricate the greenhouse mm. some are uh, the snail rarest themselves some also do the soil tilling mm. and a whole lot and we provide free accommodation for, for them, them here okay. so this is a hostel uh, oh, okay. and a demo house so that most of the guys we are working with are not uh, were not stable on their own. They didn't have places of their own. Mm. And if you wanted them to travel from where they were to here, it's always a challenge. Transportation, cost, time, everything will be uh, bad for them. So we actually converted the whole house into a hostel, mm. and that is where they are staying. And then we've converted a container, a 40 footer container, into our training room mm. and uh, where they can stay, uh, stay and sit. And we have full internet in the house mm. so that it encourages them to research more and uh, help with tricellus assets yeah. okay so here it's there are 22 what yeah. about the brief side yes so the brief side we have five people who are manning that side mm. and then we also do pepper oh, okay. so as every good company before the year ends look at how much money you would have sitting mm. money sitting is money lost that's what we, so we say. Always invest. so we always invest so <laughs> we started you. another contract for pepper mm. which when people check on uh you uh they check on google map is mm. trisolis community farm okay. we did 50 acres of pepper for wow. export and then we ended up drying a lot too for the local market as well so mm. yeah even though now we've stopped that uh this year uh next year we're going to start that again okay. because, i would love yeah. to be part of sure. the community process so okay. You expect um, a video from him on his pepper farm as well. And you have another company yeah. that is dedicated to training young Ghanaians interested yeah. in agribusiness. Yeah. And then you are starting next year. Yes. Talk to me about that. So uh, we saw that it wasn't that the youth are lazy. Mm. But imagine, as it stands now, if you want to learn anything at Greek, you have to travel to Fumesha. Kumasi, or you have to go to either one of the people that always say we are training people. Mm. You pay not less than 500 CDs. Mm -hmm. If it is not a one-day program, you rent a hotel, mm. do all that. So it means that a youth has to cough up about 1,500 to be able to learn something. You know, the pocket is dry. 
so that is the bad part yeah at first we were being taught a greek proper that you can start your own cassava farm maize and other thing but now it's not existing they have to travel distances pay huge hotel calls before they can learn agri so mm -hmm. we said why don't we have an online platform that can train people on everything agri at the comfort of their homes mm -hmm. so in comes aggregate so aggregate or aggregate is an online platform that is going to train the youth on everything agri mm -hmm. from snail farming mushrooms beekeeping vegetables fish farming name it we are going to do proper videos up to about 20 hours per uh, per course on there mm. and people are going to learn that for free wow. because that is how i got a lot of this knowledge i mm. got it for free but most people don't know maybe how to scout the internet mm. go search for all that so we are going to put all that videos do a thorough video that is uh ghana uh, you know our climate and put it on there so that the youth can also follow and be able to do something of the sort so hopefully next year january we're going to launch that platform mm. and then people can go on there and learn for free so it's agregate dot farm agregate dot farm currently we have just uh one snail uh course there that we are doing but it's a prototype so we are testing how it is and then next year we'll start on a larger scale yeah. okay okay so let me bring you back a bit Aside from the, I know you said the complaints from people about now you are targeting the bigger market with greenhouse. So do you still do, do you still do the greenhouse for people who are interested in starting on a larger scale instead of the seven hundred cities package you have? Yes. Mm. So we don't leave anybody behind. Okay. We are going with everybody, hoping to grow with everybody. Mm. So aside the boxes. We also encourage people to set up their own farms, mm. which is something we love. We love to document that you used an old uh, water tank that was busted and then you did something to it very nice oh, okay. and started your own farm. Mm. You had some blocks in your house and you arranged it nicely and did your own. That is the kind of uh, stories that we also love to hear. And aside that, we also consult for bigger farms. We also build large greenhouses like the one we are in now. Mm for people to raise snails in mm. and now we're even doing uh customized greenhouses okay. where people can do an acre mm. uh, of wadaka area where they did one acre of it very large and it has the snails in there so yes we still do for all clients and mm. all pockets yeah. okay so what's the minimum size of the greenhouse you do and at what cost okay so we do five meters by five meters which is 15 feet by 15 feet. We do that and uh, it costs you 36,000 CDs. 36, it comes with a water tank or the one we call poly tank mm -hmm. on a stand with irrigation that when you turn on one pipe, then it's raining inside the whole greenhouse. Mm -hmm. We also have ones that are fully automated. Mm -hmm. So we can do all that for you, put snails in them, treat the soil, provide you with animal feed or the snail feed mm -hmm. training, and uh, we also give you PPEs, uh, like nose mask, uh, cloth yeah. for your legs, everything. All that is inclusive in the amount that we are charging. Okay. And it can go up to about 200,000 CDs per okay. one. Depending so on the size. The size of it. Okay. Yeah. We have talked about all the juicy aspects of being a snail farmer. Are there challenges in this field? yes there is a lot of challenges okay. uh aside it being very good at employing people so every greenhouse we build employs not less than one person so okay. usually it employs about two people to take care of it mm. depending on how large it is so the downside is that uh most of the clients that build are eating them by themselves <laughs> a client is not by themselves. yes a client that can afford 50, 6,000, 60,000, usually they don't do it on uh, That's why we are still having a deficit. Mm. So already we've built about 200 plus greenhouses. In Ghana? In, in Ghana, Accra alone. Accra alone. Accra alone. And wow. the interesting thing is the majority of them is around East Lagos. Mm. So they do it on their own, eat with their friends, family, pastors, share it. Uh, because it's a delicacy people yeah, really love very, it very nice. and now you go on the market and you don't even get it 
if you get it too it's too expensive, expensive yeah. so now they do it on their own and eat <laughs> so we were looking at buying them back but and now we are not that. getting <laughs> because people are now <laughs> eating it so much so the good thing is that has given us another market mm. so we have done the pouches so we, that's how come the pouches sell a lot oh, okay. so every year we do just about maybe five thousand pouches and it gets finished mm. in the first month is done so the clients will buy all the snails that we're going to eat and the ones that we want to raise then we start with the farming so okay. that's how good the market is but mm. the downside is that one that the clients that we targeted with the greenhouse do not provide a lot of them back to us to buy mm. and the second one is that there is a gray area you see poultry has their own research and facility and vaccines and all that we do not have mm. so we do what is called quarantine measures okay. that's why we're able to stand in this greenhouse without worrying because we've taken out all the snails okay. when we are going to have a major event we take out all the snails but it's a temporary holding facility as well mm. for the so imagine going to a poultry farm you do a lot of uh, yeah, washing your washing feet, your feet. wearing yeah. you know but we have very little when it comes to that mm. so the research is lacking there isn't any government authority mandated to do that alone that are giving us results mm. so like i said i went to csir to learn but then we don't really get research from them even their clients come to us to still build them greenhouses mm. meaning that sure we are still the leaders in the greenhouse and the snail industry so that is one side and clients are a bit adamant to change when they are able to afford that much and you advise them they say my friend it is my own snails <laughs> so I <can laughs> what i wanted it <laughs> is what i'll do to it so that is but the market is so good mm. there's readily available market Unlike other agric products where you have to go search for a market, mm. this time there's a ready available market. Mm. And the interesting part is that we have even gotten more market, which we used some ingenious ways to do. Currently, the world is looking for a protein source mm. for animal feed, for bodybuilders and human ready to eat cereals and those that, you know, oh, add yeah. and drink it either for bodybuilding or for losing weight or even for gaining weight. Mm. But the interesting part is that snail has about 67% protein and it already has its own calcium in it. in it. Unlike fish meal and other ones that do not have that high level, fish meal has about 47 to 51% protein source. Mm. But if you grind snails, okay. it has calcium in it already, it has the, uh, the protein, which is about 67%. So if you use that for any more feed, it will cut down the cost because it is very less expensive mm. and we can use that for the feed so market it keeps on increasing every year we come up with innovative ways of doing now we have snail barbecues we have snail powder for mm. if you want to grind it and add it to your soups it will smell like snails yeah and then it will become a seasoning for you yeah i yeah. think i even came across a post somewhere this year about a company that is uh, processing snail into like canned snails yes like the way they yeah. do uh, yes. mackerel mackerels and sardines yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right here yeah. in ghana yeah right here and next year the good thing is that there are a few big players coming into the industry mm. which is going to make it more interesting we're now going to do snail slime extraction here in ghana okay. we're going to and use it very for expensive. very very expensive but the good thing is we are not going to export the raw material we're going to turn it into creams okay. so now we're going to create more employment for people to mm. do and sell it back to the europeans so that at a much higher price, price. than the raw material yes, that's the advantage yeah. of uh, processing before selling exactly yes yeah. so, and, and you know the snails that we find in the house that we don't eat mm. the ones that they call alicoto or catrevin yeah, yeah, yeah. all those are edible oh okay but it's because of where we find them maybe sorry to say you woke up and it is by your dog poo or yeah, something yeah, yeah. or you're like ah i don't like this snail oh, okay. but that snail and those that we find around that are pests mm. even have higher protein levels than the one that we have on the why, farm why why <laughs> why do they have a higher because they are they are called uh, they are more related to the european one called helix oh, okay. 
that's why they are smaller mm -hmm. and uh, they are brownish Mm. Ours is dark yes. or dark with gray spot. Yes. So they are more related to European snails and they are much more sought after by the Europeans than even the black ones that we do here, which is the African giant. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I will bring our conversation to a close. You started right after national service. Yeah. I want you to look into this camera and speak to every Ghanaian who may be jobless out there or even the current national current national service personnel who may finish and start looking for jobs that may not even exist, get frustrated, and then, I don't know, just tell them something for me. Because this industry, like you said, you are not even meeting the demand. You are yeah. just doing about 18% of the total yeah. market demand. Tell them something. So I would say, every day, people say there's no work. I do understand the frustration that youth and young people have to go through. Because people charge you for training. People charge you for a whole lot of things that you could have used to start. Fortunate for us, TriSolis and other companies like TriSolis are providing free training when it comes to snails. When you visit us, we give you free training, no obligation. You don't need to buy anything. You can start your own box and then come and buy maybe snails or get your own snails and start. So we are encouraging people to get close to the action don't assume always be sure come and ask can i get free training can i do this if i want to start with my own box this is the box how what do you think we are more than happy to help because anything that you do will help the snail industry and be able to help us expand so imagine if now every household has a snail box that means that we we'll have more to buy more to eat for ourselves and it is also very healthy and good protein so we're encouraging every youth out there walk into our facility at Dansoman, venture or get close to any young farmer whether it be fish farming snails mushrooms they are more than happy to train you or teach you for free so be proactive do not sit let us explore and let us not assume that everyone is after money for how you speak and even how you approach people can make them teach you or not so let's be proactive let's get started let's not stop starting today is the day thank you very much Felix, sure. for joining us on society 360 today i have really enjoyed this conversation and trust me i am going to start snail farming very very soon thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on your bell notifications so that anytime we upload videos you'll be the first to be notified thank you it's a buy from us.